Good morning everyone. Kevin and I are getting ready to leave to go to the store. We need a few things. We're a little bit, a little bit short on items. You ready? Yep. Can you hear Kevin squeaking by? He tore his MCL in his knee. You don't mind me telling him that, right? Yeah. We don't even know how. We know, we know that he needs a knee replacement. We've known that for a while. But he's been able to kind of deal with it until he's kind of ready to do that. But here recently, when we got back from our um, kind of boating vacation, he had a knee problem and not for a few days. So we don't really think that it happened while we were on vacation, but something has gone haywire because he's wearing a knee brace now. We know it's a torn MCL, but we don't know how he did it. It might have just been honestly like I think maybe stress, you know, like a slow tear. What'd they tell you? It's frayed and it's torn frayed and torn so maybe it was just over time i don't know so anyway we are going to head to the grocery store because he does need to move around a little bit with it and he's been kind of resting it for a while now so we're going to head to the grocery store and i'll show you what we get okay we are back from the grocery store we ended up getting way more than i thought we were going to get but there were some sales and of course kevin went with me and anytime he goes we end up getting more so all right, let's jump into what we picked up. Now, we went to Schnucks, which is our local grocery store, which is going to be similar to like Fry's or Kroger or just one of those standard grocery stores. You could probably get all of this at Walmart as well. So we picked up some onions. I always need onions for cooking. We got a red onion. Kevin wanted some of these zero sugar. Oh, you know what? It looks like he accidentally grabbed one that is not zero sugar. See, it's so easy to do that. I'll mark that so he doesn't accidentally eat that one. I'll give that to the kids. But zero sugar dolce de leche, vanilla. Let's look at the difference while we're here. So 24 grams of carbs in the non-zero sugar. 10 and 10 on the zero sugar so definitely that's kind of a big mistake on that so i'll make sure i mark that because kevin is diabetic so he has to be careful with that and he is he's taking it very seriously he's doing really good so we got some hot dog buns and little little sliders the kids love hot dogs all the time so we picked up some of those i will probably not eat that yeah 26 carbs a little too high for me now the slider buns i can usually get away with oh that's even a little high 18 on the slider then we also got some caramel rice cakes this is good with peanut butter 11 grams of carbs on that and these were two for four so i also picked up the white cheddar and that one is nine grams of carbs. I like that with a little bit of cheese on top. I'll show you um, what I'm gonna do with that. Then I needed some olive oil. The zero carb, zero net carb, I should say, Mission Tortillas. These were on sale, two for six, so I picked those up. They are seven grams of carbs, for I think for one, let me make sure of that because these are pretty small yeah for one and then i also grabbed some of the yellow corn tortilla um because i am going to make 20 let's see 21 grams of carbs for two tortillas i wanted the extra thin but i couldn't find them so i'm gonna deal with that but this is for the taquitos that I made. I showed that in a recipe video last week. I'll see if I can link that because sometimes people don't always watch all the way to the end. And for me, a lot of times my dinners are my best recipes. So try to watch to the end on those what I eat in a day videos or meal prep videos because dinner is usually pretty darn good. All right, I also grabbed a big thing of blended greek yogurt the oikos seven grams of carbs there 
I needed some light mayo. I like the Duke's brand the best. And that is one gram of carbs. Kevin picked up a French vanilla creamer. I don't like that he's still doing that. Five grams of carbs for one tablespoon, which he's not having one tablespoon. He's having more like a quarter cup, but you know, he's doing fine for now. It's his vice, so we deal with that. These pork tenderloins were on sale for $5. I thought that was such a good deal, so I got a bunch of them. I got two lemon garlic, honey garlic, teriyaki, savory. These are really, really good. I love throwing them in the crock pot. So I kind of wish I would have got more there. Of course, they're going to be low in carbs, five grams of carbs for four ounces, probably on most of them. This one might be a little higher because of the honey. Nope. Five grams of carbs. So that was a really good buy. And then I grabbed some ground turkey so I can make some turkey burgers for myself. The Fairlife milk was on sale two for nine. The Fairlife milk I love, but it is expensive. So two for nine was a little bit of a sale, saved about a buck on it. Six grams of carbs for one cup. I got two cucumbers. I also grabbed some London broil for sandwiches or salads and also some cheddar cheese for the same thing. Then Kevin really likes these Dogtown pizzas. This is a St. Louis style pizza, so it's really thin crust. And he likes those like in a pinch. 26 grams of carbs for a quarter of the pizza. We got some bananas. I've been doing banana and ice cream in the evening here and there. It has not spiked my blood sugar, but it will push it up pretty kind of high for me, high, like a little bit higher than my comfort zone. The last time I had it, it pushed me up into the 130s for over two hours, which that's the problem, is I don't like to have it up that high for that long. So again, I say this all the time, the bananas I have to watch. Kevin grabbed some light and fit Greek yogurt. He loves the strawberry banana, so do I, and then also the blueberry and it is eight grams of carbs. We also got a bunch of zero sugar pudding. We really like that too. We make it with the Fair Life. It's delish, but you do have to be a little careful with that as well. Five grams of carbs for one serving. There's maltodextrin in this, and for some people that will spike your blood sugar. I don't spike on that, but I do go up similar to the bananas. So I just have to be a little bit careful with it. It's not an every night kind of thing for me. I also grabbed some Laughing Cow Light Cheese. I'm going to put this on the white cheddar rice cake. One gram of carbs for that. We picked up some zero carb spicy brown mustard. Two things of Andrea's steak sauce. This is really good. It's mainly made out of onions two grams of carbs but it's really delicious it's a really good marinade kevin wanted some apples i needed a cauliflower i'm just going to do like a cheesy cauliflower you know how i do the mushy broccoli i'm going to do a version of that with the cauliflower i'm going to do um some cheese and some heavy whipping cream mm -mm -mm. It sounded so good to me we also picked up some tomatoes. I am going to put, for breakfast next week, my plan is to stuff the tomatoes with scrambled eggs. That sounded really good. I used to get that in Naples, Florida, when I lived there, and it was, it was really good. We also grabbed all of the minty chocolate and the caramel choco soft protein bars that they had. We just took the whole box because we love them. The whole, everybody in my family eats them. 22 grams of carbs on that one and 22 on the minty. They're really good. A little bit high in carbs, but we live with it. I needed a block of cheese because I do prefer to shred my own cheese. 
I also needed carrots. I love cooked carrots. I like to throw them in the crock pot with whatever I'm making. And then I also picked up four of the Good Culture cottage cheese that has fruit in it. It's a little bit high in carbs, higher than the plain one, four grams. But that's just because, you know, there's a little bit of sugar in this, not just naturally occurring, but when they add the fruit. So sometimes I like to add my own fruit, but in a pinch, it's good to have these on hand. And then we grabbed a couple of these original barbecue rub. Are you doing ribs, Kevin? No, I like to rub for the ribs. Just oh, some more. okay. Kevin does really good ribs. So that's everything. That's our whole grocery haul. We're gonna have lots of good recipes this week. You're up. You're up for the put away. <laughs>